So uh, you've come back after a decade. Right. What can you maybe talk a little bit about what you've been doing in the last 10 years and what made you decide to come back? I think it was in 2019 that I started to get the idea of, you know, maybe I should do something online. Um, I didn't know, like, what exactly, but I saw that social media was really taking off and that might be a good idea to take advantage of that. <laughs> um, so my, I still had my Twitch channel. Um, <clears throat> which, so I pretty much deleted everything except for that for some reason. And so I just, I started streaming here and there and it wasn't right away that people started asking me for OnlyFans, but at some point they did. And I was like, oh, you know, I don't know. I don't know so much about it. Um, and then I started looking it up. And I also had a friend, uh, uh, Phoenix Azkani, she was doing it at the time. And so I started asking her questions about it. Um, and I would always see her uh, put something in her story, like, if you pay for OnlyFans, you're not uh, paying for a company or something like that. You're mm -hmm. just helping a girl pay her groceries for the week or something like that. She would post memes like that. So I was like, hmm, this, this seems interesting. Um, so after a few months, I decided to start an OnlyFans. And I'm trying to remember. I think I only started by like posting some pictures. And then I started to play around with the different features, like the live streaming and the messages, making videos and things like that. And... Yeah, I, I really liked it. I, I mean, I still like it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did you find, were you, like, how quick was the onboarding of, like, old fans, like, people who recognized you from before? Um, you mean, like, on, on Twitch or? No, on, no, no, on OnlyFans. On, on so Only when fans? you came back to OnlyFans, was yeah. it kind of a little bit slow at first? Like, you weren't really you kind of dipping your toes in the water or did you see like a lot of your old fans, people who knew you jump in and be like, Oh my God, like you're back. Yeah. It was, I, it was somewhere in the middle because okay. I, I had an old subreddit that I didn't use. Obviously it's like the communities, but someone posted it on there. Mm -hmm. And so I got the old fans from there mm -hmm. as well. And they were like, Oh, all excited about it. And yeah. Everything. Um, but yeah, I, I did look kind of different cause my, I always had like straight, uh, blonde hair when I was shooting in the past and I, I've been keeping my hair natural for, for the most part. I mean, straight today, but I usually have it curly and it's a lot darker than it was before. So mm -hmm. like sometimes when I was live streaming on Twitch, people didn't even recognize me, really? So, yeah. I have to say, you literally look exactly oh. the same. Like you haven't aged at all. <laughs> Thank you. Like, you really look the same. It's it's pretty remarkable. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you've been like taking care of yourself since you've been you've been out. Yeah. <laughs> were you nervous to come back at all? Were you nervous about getting backlash from people who were like, you went out there and you badmouthed the industry, and now you're back? Like, what the fuck? Did you get any of that? Um. No, I, I wasn't uh, because it's like uh, what we do, we get backlash anyways <laughs> working in this industry. So it's like, yeah, if it happens, it happens. Then yeah, yeah I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Yeah. So but for the most part, people have been really nice. So you yeah. weren't worried about people like in the industry being like, why are you back? Not really. No. Yeah. I figured, you know the ones that would like actually care would just try to understand, you know, mm -hmm. as opposed to, um, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> yeah. Well, and also too coming back as an independent content creator, you know, the power is in your hands. Right. And you don't like have to go 
to set and see any of these oh, other yeah. people that were in the industry before right, exactly. or old directors or anything like that. So yeah. you have a lot more control over exactly. what it probably felt a lot safer. Yes. So yes. how have you found the industry to be different since you were last year? Well, we have a lot more options now. Um, I think obviously OnlyFans definitely changed the game in that way. Um, for me personally, I'm doing everything independent. No more <laughs> having an agent. And I've also been taking things slower. Um, and then as far as my OnlyFans go, I, I do that independently as well. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, maybe I'll, I'll get to, to a point where I'll take on more help. But right now, I'm the only person that I trust to do right. all of that. Right. Yeah. 